So, the first card is the kangaroo. So you're going through unsettled times and you do need to plan ahead. So uh, there might be some kind of um, problems as far as the home goes. Uh, you could be, uh, you know, in a state of flux at the moment where you're not quite settled uh, in a home or you're going through a temporary situation where, uh, you know, you might be in between homes as well. Uh, so you need to start making some plans for the future. The card below it is the star card over here, so guaranteed success. So this is very, very temporary, whatever displacement you're having at the moment. And that seems like it will uh, settle down because you've got the star card. This is about divine guidance coming in as well as success coming in for you there. You've got the egg over here, so success is assured with good plans and hard work. Uh, so uh, the egg is about brand new beginnings, something about to hatch for you in your life. Um, you know, you've got success guaranteed with both cards, the star card and the egg card above and below. Uh, so whatever um, unsettled uh, times you're going through, it looks like it's going to improve and it's going to have a successful outcome. So just hang in there. <coughs> Now you've got the bull in the past, so it was about uh, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. So you needed to be resilient. You need to hang in there uh, to deal with whatever is going on with you. You've got the dog, dog barking over here, so there might be have been a friend or somebody that has come along that has given you some good advice. So the, it's important for you to remember what this advice is and actually put it into action. Now, going into the future, there's a shock over there, so take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So just watch your finances. Don't overspend during this period. Just take things very, very slowly. And the card that follows this is the tortoise, so it says slowly but surely getting ahead. So you're going to have to take your time. You're going to have to be resilient and don't rush things, really. So whatever the situation is that's temporary, there will be successful outcome, but it, it might not come as quickly as you would like but you will get there in the end. Uh, you know, um, there might be some kind of home move or some kind of temporary relocation going on over here, but it will end up being something. Uh, you will end up, uh, you know, establishing your security again, and there will be success in whatever it is you're doing. The shark card is saying just be very careful, you know, uh, tread carefully right now. So be cautious with how you spend your money or how you take on new projects. It's, it's very important for you to be planned up uh, and don't rush into things. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to just draw some cards from Tower of the Cloisters. And that's the main read. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Strength card there. You've got uh, the Four of Staves. Um, you've got the Five of Staves there. And uh, you've got the Knight of Vessels over there. It seems like there's some kind of offer that has come in for you. Um, you know, it might could have been a job offer. Uh, something that, come, that has, somebody has brought in, maybe even some advice that could have come in over there with that... Uh, night of vessels so this could be something very important it's some invaluable piece of information it's something that's going to change things around so it's important for you to remember it and to take that advice you're going through a very very difficult situation you've got the five of staves over here so you could be dealing with a lot of difficult people who are stirring up a lot stirring up a lot of problems for you and you're having to fight your way through this situation so uh, you know people arguing with you causing a lot of problems maybe saying things maybe being very very critical as well uh, so uh, a, a lot of uh, discord going on over there and this is affecting your stability this could be even be that you're you know having to move home because of all the discord that is going on so it's upsetting your stability in some sort of way whatever is going on there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of arguing uh, so this could be on the home front in itself you need to hang in there um, you need to be bold you need to stand up for yourself uh, whatever it is that you're going through you will conquer it because the strength card always it's a positive card it shows that you know if you just hang in there um, just be a bit resilient 
you will be able to overcome this. So if you're going through even if you're going through any health issues, you know you will recover from it. If you're going through financial issues and all these people that are fighting, uh, you know, with you, if you just stand your ground, uh, you know you will be victorious in the situation. So whatever you're going through at the moment, take heart. It's you know it will uh, you will be able to conquer it. You got the death card, so it seems like the best way to do it is to, you know, cut off ties with this pe these people or the situation. So the death card is about sudden endings that have come in over here. Uh, there could have been a death as well, because this uh, news is being brought in by the. Uh, the Knight of Swords, which usually brings in, uh, you know, really upsetting news sometimes, uh, things that are, and you've got next to the death card. So something has ended and you have received news about it or will be receiving news about it. And it could be rather upsetting, uh, you know, it, it will mean that you need to uh, act pretty quickly on whatever this news is that is coming in. But it's certainly about some kind of ending that has come in. And it's events that you cannot control. It's a major arcana card, uh, and it's being brought in by that Knight of Swords. So some kind of news coming in pretty quickly uh, that's going to cause uh, or, uh, a little bit of upset for you, or, or maybe even a lot of upset because you've got the Death card next to it. So some big kind of event coming in over there. You've got the Eight of Swords. Uh, so you have been feeling pretty stuck in the situation. Now you've been, you may have possibly moved away from whatever's been going on. You could have been dealing with legal issues over here that's kept you tied up in a situation. There's a lot of lack going on over here. It's also kind of being, uh, you know, out of control, not really feeling as though you have any power in the situation. So it seems like you've tried to move away from it. Uh, you know, maybe you've relocated uh, and trying to get away. Maybe things are starting to settle down a bit, but there's still issues that you're dealing with from the past. There's some legal issues that you're dealing with because you're still carrying these swords with you. So even though things are slightly better than what they were in uh, it seems like, you know, things, the problems ha have not been sorted out. So you could be dealing with legal issues or dealing with people that have, um, you know, um, caused a lot of problems for you. Whoever you're dealing with, it's a very, uh, there's a lot of conflict within the situation. And you can see that uh, going on with this five of uh, staves as well. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of problems uh, that you're dealing with. And since this is that four of staves, this is the home front, it seems like there's some kind of issue. You're trying to move away from it. You've, you've, um, you know, you've physically taken yourself out of it, uh, but it seems like, you know, it's following you a little bit over there. You're still having to sort through a lot of problems there. And it might be something legal as well. Maybe the, possibly there'll be a legal ending to this case. And this is what the Knight of Swords is bringing in that news. Uh, but it seems like you're going to have to cut it out completely uh, in order for you to deal with it. Uh, it's bringing about a big change in your circumstance. It's affecting your health as well. So you're very stressed out, uh, very anxious. Um, you know, this is a card about needing to take a little bit of a retreat because it's having some implications on your health there. So whatever is going on, you might have to take some time off and recover from the situation. It's definitely had a lot of health impact on you as well. So you could be dealing with an illness as well, and maybe this is what is going on here. Uh, you know, you're starting to recover from it with that six of swords, and you know, you're hoping that you know you get completely better from it with that four of swords, but there seems to be a lot of swords cards over here. So um, you know, this could be either dealing with legal issues and trying to get over it, or even dealing with health issues, um, you know, uh, and trying to get over it. You've got the Queen of Vessels over here, so uh, you are feeling very isolated, very alone, very unsupported in the situation, uh, and um, pretty much pretty depressed, really. So, um, you know, you can see her looking to that cup and almost crying there. Uh, so, you know, it seems like there's nobody around you to support you right now, and you're having to deal with these issues that you're going through. Uh, also, this news that comes in with this Knight of Swords might not be the best of news that you hear because she's crying there. So it might be something, you know, ending off a situation uh, with a death card. It could be a death of a person as well that produces a lot of upset and maybe you have to deal with that situation. But, you know, all in all, feeling very, very miserable right now. You've got uh, the five of vessels over here. So feeling very despondent. So you're going through quite a lot right now. This is quite, um, you know, all these are like, uh, very upsetting cards from the deck itself. And I have shuffled the deck quite thoroughly as well. You've got the Five of Vessels. So you're going through a period where you're feeling very disappointed. You're looking at the past quite a bit, feeling despondent, uh, feeling upset. And you can see with that Queen of Vessels as well, feeling quite miserable right now. So whatever's been going on, it's had a very big emotional impact on you there. And, uh, you know, you are regretting a lot as well. 
this is about, you know, feeling so upset. There is, you know, you, you need to get over this situation. There is something on the horizon for you. You can see there's that security in the distance there. But, you know, if, you, if you're if you still focused on, on whatever you've lost right now, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get over it and move on. Uh, so there's a need for you to heal from the situation as well. And perhaps this is why this Four of Swords has come out, because you, you know this in your mind. You do know that you need to come up with a new plan, a new strategy on how to deal with the situation, because you are feeling a little emotionally overwhelmed by it right now. You're at a point where you're trying to make a decision. There's the Cross Swords over here. So there could also be uh, somebody that you're dealing with that you have reached a stalemate situation with. There's no reconciliation, there's no communication, and maybe this is the reason why you're feeling that they've let you down quite a bit. They've left you alone to deal with situations, and they're not anywhere. There's no communication over there. So there's that breakdown of communication as well. And you're trying to make a decision on how you want to move forward. So you've got the Three of Pentacles. You might be even, you know, looking to change jobs. You're trying to focus on your work. And also this is about you're trying to find a new job that generates a lot more money or income as well. Now going to the future and the final outcome. You've got uh, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Staves, and you've got the Seven of Staves over here. So the Page of Pen Eight of Pentacles is about you might need to do some kind of bridging course as far as work goes. Uh, for you to uh, overcome uh, whatever financial crisis you're going through at the moment. So this could all have been about losing, you know, a home or losing your work, um, you know, having to move um, and feeling unsupported by people around you. And you're going to have to do some kind of course of study or some kind of learning. So this is the card of being the apprentice. Uh, there's uh, some kind of study you need to do or some kind of training that you need to do uh, in order for you to get a good job, in order for you to move forward. You're putting a lot of effort and energy into whatever it is you're working on. Uh, so, you know, you're working pretty hard to get yourself out of this rut that you are in at the moment. Um, and, you know, you are you know, pulling out all the stops, it seems. Money will come in, but there might be something that you need to do, some kind of further training or learning that you may need to do to get yourself out of this. You've got the page of staves over here. So there is going to be some kind of offer that comes in for you, and you're going to hear news from it. So you could have been applying for a lot of new jobs over here or even applying for a job that requires some training as well, and you will re hear news about it. It might be away from wherever you are at the moment. So there might be a travel some traveling that you'll need to undertake or maybe relocate to actually do this new job, to accept this new job. And this is what you are going to be looking into. You're still having to sort or deal through a lot of problems, but try and do it one at a time. Don't get yourself overwhelmed. You, If you sort it through one at a time and be very logical about how you deal with it, um, you, will be, you will be able to overcome it. So whatever is going on around you is still, you know, um, there's still a lot of problems that you're dealing with. You've got a little fire there. So you're still in the thick of it right now. But if you accept this new offer and start dealing with things one at a time, you will be able to sort things out. So you're going through a, a rather rough period at the moment over here. And a period where it's not as though anybody's really supporting you. You're a bit confused. You're not, not quite sure what to do right now. Uh, but you do need to hang in there, especially with that strength card. You just need to give it your best shot. And it looks like, you know, uh, you will start making inroads into sorting this problem out. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, wolf pack. And let's see what's going on. So the first card you've got is Innocent. Innocence, a time when you are open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life. It may indicate a move and finding uh, finding the child within. So don't take things too seriously. So with this card about, um, you know, you've got that page of staves over there, a page of rods, uh, is talking about uh, an opportunity will present itself and it will give you the opportunity to move on. Uh, and, you know, start something brand new. So if that opportunity presents itself, uh, you know, don't hesitate to take it. Um, you've got self-reliance, so you will not be able to rely on anyone at this time in your life. Know that this is only a temporary situation. Your strength and hard work will get you through this crisis. So it seems, you know, with all these cards, it looks like you are very feeling very, very unsupported. 
um, it seems like this is the time that the universe is asking you to be self-reliant and just hang in there. Uh, it's only temporary and soon, you know, things will start shifting. You've got wisdom, so doorways will open and you will discover talents that you never realized you possess. Uh, psychic forces bring you back to your ancient roots. Wisdom is gained through knowledge. Uh, Wisdom is gained along with the knowledge to use it. So you've got that eight of pentacles over here. So there is some kind of study that you need to possibly do uh, to bring out all those talents that you have, those hidden talents. Um, and you need to, you do need to do this uh, bridging course or kind of further study in order for you to enhance your skill set, in order for you to get um, what you need to move on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So the first card is the page of Michael, which says an, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So this looks like some news is coming in, and this could be signing off new legal documents. There's certainly some kind of legal news coming in. And with that, uh, you know, that Knight of Swords, there's also some kind of news coming in. It could be something legal. It's something that you need to act on very, very quickly. Uh, it's going to bring an ending to this old situation, maybe start bringing you into a new situation. So this uh, Knight of Swords uh, and the Page of Michael together show that there's something legal or something official that needs to be signed. Um, and you will have to act and review things very, very carefully, look things through very carefully before signing any contracts. You've got the Eight of Michael over here, so you can be free. Uh, and uh, it says, make a courageous choice to change your situation and not seeing things very clearly. So you're going to be the one that needs to open the doors for yourself. So where you're feeling very stuck and feeling as though, you know, nobody's there to help you, um, you know, you can, you're going to have to make some kind of choice or some kind of decision. And once you make that decision, you're going to be able to be successful. So you've got the chariot card over here, which says uh, determination and self-control, career advancement and acknowledgement of success by others. So this looks like a home move and moving on towards more success. Uh, so you have to be determined and stay controlled. Um, uh, be, uh, you know, have a lot of self-control, but there looks like there's some uh, career advancement coming in for you. So success is going to be acknowledged by other people and you will be successful at what you do, but it looks like you're going to have to move away from the circumstance because there's a lot going on over here. And once you do that, you know, cut ties with this, make a brand new start, it looks like success will come your way and you'll be able to progress. So I wish you all the best. Uh, you know, you are going through a very, very difficult time and I wish you all the success. Um, and um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave me some comments if this has resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.